time to release karmetic debt. I'm talking about ancestral karma. I'm talking about like the shadow work. It's all one thing now, all right? Y'all need to understand that. If there was any time to release all that right now, now is the time. It is so crucial right now. I'm telling you, I've been going through my own little thing the last past week. Easily handleable. Source got my back, of course, but I had to experience it and learn from it. That way I can release the load and lighten my heart and also open up to old things. I mean, new things, let go of old things. Now is the time to do that. I'm being real. Y'all need to take this over. Whoever watched this video, that just means you are meant. All right. So don't even fret. Don't do no overthinking, no overanalyzing, bro or chick. You are meant. I'm saying for real because only one's gonna listen to this is supposed to heed the call, heed the message. Bro, I re let's just say a lot of individuals will not heed this call. A lot. Too many. Too many, it like nearly like shook my heart, yo. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Too many individuals. And you can feel in the energy in the air every day and your body too. I'm telling you, if you're watching this video, you feel it in your body. You know what I'm talking about. Like this, like you, like normally I had 10 videos done, done by now, but I just had to let universe source give me the code. I just had to just relax and heat the call. I was rushing. I'm not supposed to rush a masterpiece. It comes at its appropriate time. Everything is synced. Okay. Everything is synced. There are no coincidences. I'm, 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 I'm going to be first off to tell you all that. Don't, don't even think so. I'm just, yo, I'm sorry. Nikola Tesla, Abraham. I mean, one of them, a great. Many people understand there are no coincidences in this universe, all right? And when something happens, when 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 sequence where events happen one after another, it's always rising up to something big. Same thing in Endgame, Marvel, all the superhero movies that's being released right now. Y'all can tell. If y'all watch that shit, y'all know what I'm talking about. If not, then go back and watch that shit and you know what I'm talking about. So everything leads up to like a big climax. Like it's just big, right, right, right? Think of it, all the events for the last two years. Is leading up to this big thing. So if you're listening to this message, that means you're heeding the call. You're anchored on. So congratulations, yo. I'm saying, yo, congratulations, because I tried to help a lot of individuals. Too many and all, all probably did not, definitely, most definitely, maybe one, all but one, definitely did not heed the call. I'm being real. They don't just, it's, just, it's not computing. It's not registering. It's just not meant. And I realized to back off, you feel me? But a bunch of events is about to take place. Like you, you being like the, the center of it, you being the center of all these events. Think of it like this. And they've been happening, but it's about to get, it's about to amplify. And don't, don't immediately think, oh man, man. no, you gotta get out of that mindset. That's why the shadow work was needed because if you're constantly creating, co-creating in each moment or creating a reality in every moment because you can't plan things off in the head uh, in, in the future anymore, that does not exist. That was like a 3D construct. You can't plan things out in the future anymore. So if you're constantly co-creating in the moment and you realize your manifestation, you see them like heating too fast and then you all start thinking about low shit, that means you didn't do the work. That means you didn't let go or understand what the assignment was or understand your power or yourself or who you are. All those things coming together. So with these events taking place, they're about to amplify. That's why you were supposed to do the work. So this is about to be a major breaking point. If you are watching this video, that means you went through like a major change, like a dark night of soul, meaning that <laughs> your most biggest, you're like most, most like I'll say your biggest fear was like, you know, basically your biggest fear is what you had to face. If you hadn't faced it recently, you should, or you, you, you should be facing it like in the near future, like real, real, real soon. And it's waiting for you to face that. So that way this plane can amplify, it can change. So don't focus on too much stuff going on to people out there. Yo, it's a lot of stuff because they're lost and they're not going to be able to heed the call. It has a lot to do with the frequency they're listening to. It has a lot to do with the food that they constantly eat. Like it's okay to eat something every now and then, but if you're not cleaning it out of you, if you if it's stuck in you, then it's 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 impacting you. It has a lot to do with the people they talk or the thoughts that they you know consume or you know the thoughts they hold on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? The, it's just actions in general, okay? Because what you what you put out has to come come back. That's a form of manifestation. So don't 
don't focus on people right now. I'm saying that is like the worst thing you could do because you're gonna only absorb their karmic debt and you're gonna bring yourself into their plane. So you're gonna lower yourself down and you're not gonna be able to heed, heed the call because you were focused on, you know, someone that chose not to heed the call or, and also there's something else I learned. They weren't meant to heed the call. You only, because if you're watching this video, that means you came here to alter the vibration. You came here to just change some shit because the way this planet was going, it was not going in a good limelight, bro. And I know I said the planet was called Zathora. It's only because I was thinking of the movie Zathora, but no, it's called Planet uh, Tiamat and Planet Kai. That you know, Tiamat is more of a you know older name, and uh, Planet Kai is more of a recent name. So okay, so that's what it's called, Planet Kai. The reason why it's important is when you when you hold or when you speak the vibration of like our ancestral then you actually impact it and you bring that back so it's like the quickest way to um to activate our ancestral lineage is to speak that language Duh, that's why they speak the language native tongue think about it every every culture has a tongue but the only one who in here don't have a tongue there's two actually one that we know that has been you know quote that's been basically indoctrinating everything for the last 400 to 1000 years and the other one that was subdued to certain acts and i'm gonna just leave it at that a lot of acts and i'm not going to go into too much detail about it but it talks in experience so don't don't focus on that that's not even gonna be that's that's one of the things we gotta let go i i, I know most importantly have to let it go it's not serving you it's not helping you. i know it it affects certain you know occurrences today economic wise and you know political wise and you know everything wise but it's the past it no longer exists in this moment now i know because this moment is something different that's why we're doing this video right now it's a whole different moment and it's about to be a great moment if you let go of the you know low vibration stuff from the past that you still hold which is a your weakness you know that's all it is like like let me give you an example the scariest people right the people who are scared the most go to the gym why because they're fearful so they're acting on it so by by doing that out of fear they're actually in turn they're creating more fear and scarcity in their life because they're only making this they're only doing this because of such emotions that they held before they were scared so they went to the gym to try to feel like you know i can protect myself now and that's actually feeding into it so you're only propelling yourself down that cycle even more i'm telling you that's why i don't go to the gyms anymore because it's just a a bunch of why because scarcity scarcity brings lack of self-love and you know envy and just all that stuff it's just that's what it is but yo let go of all that all that lower lower emotions because you're going to manifest that in a new paradigm okay